So in the previous video students, I have told you about what is in store for first PUC statistics. First PUC statistics will be learning about statistical methods. The whole concept of statistical methods is large in first PUC students. But never mind, it is very easy. Okay, Very easy and you will love doing those problems. What you have done in your schools, maybe from 8th standard or 9th standard or 10th standard, whatever you have studied regarding statistics, you will be learning now in PUC first year in a, in a different way. In other words, I can tell it in this way as the old wine in a new bottle. Okay, This is what I could give an example. Whatever you have learned, in a new way I am going to explain to you a little bit in detail. So no need to worry about it students, you will enjoy my statistics class and uh, you will love to be here in the statistics class and you will have a, you know, a determination to score 100 out of 100. Whoever it may be, whoever you may be students, you may be a 95% uh, scoring student or you may be a 40% or 50% scoring student, don't, you don't need to worry. One thing you always need to do is everyday work is necessary. If you follow this everyday work students, you will surely get 100 out of 100. Whoever it may be students, I am telling you. So there are so many students who have come scoring 50%, 50, 55% and uh, gone out of this campus having around 95, 96% score. You know, that's something great. So you understand students, anybody can do it. You, uh, you may be a Kannada medium student or you may be an Urdu medium student or you may be uh, any other medium or even English medium or maybe you are a very slow learner, never mind. Try to work out every day and usually and, uh, try to work out every day, easily you will be able to score good marks in your annual examination, right? As we need to be fit, right? We need to be fit every day and we, to, to be fit every day, we need to do some exercises. Yes or no? We need to do some exercises and if we are not doing the exercises, we will become lazy, right? And uh, we will just grow fat. Yes or no? So to avoid such kind of things, right? And later on, if ever we put on weight, so much of other, so many complications in your health, right? You will, you will, you will come across. So to avoid all that, what you need to do is we need to go to the gym or we need to uh, right, uh, work hard, see that you are, you are uh, burning your calories and burning the excess fat and, uh, and you will be fit. So what you will be doing, every day you will try to go there, yes or no, the same thing here also. To make your knowledge strong, to make your wisdom strong regarding a subject, you always have to do everyday exercise. That is what is key for the success in your examination students. I hope you have understood this, okay? And I will explain this to you once again, students, regarding uh, the statistics one. It is a scoring subject. You don't need to think about, you know, uh, you know whether I will be able to uh, pass or anything. This is not about a subject should be, which is to be taken to be as a passing subject. This subject, you have taken it, you have taken it only for scoring. Okay, you are a scorer, that's it. Okay, whoever it may be, I'm telling again, you are the one who is going to score 100 out of 100 in statistics. And I am there to help you out, I am there to guide you, and I am there to support you. Okay, so don't need to worry about it. So now, let me a little bit brief out about the syllabus in this PUC first year. Okay, in PUC first year, we have 10 chapters for us, 10 units, 10 units, okay, right, each one is important, okay, each one is very much important, okay, and uh, in PUC statistics, in PUC first year statistics, we all, we have to study statistics right from chapter 1 onwards, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, like that itself, continuously we can, we have to study, because each chapter has some connection, okay? So what is the first chapter? The first chapter is all about introduction to statistics. The first chapter is introduction to statistics. Introduction.
two sentences. Now, what is that you do in this? Okay, introduction to statistics. What is that you do? In this chapter, we will learn how statistics is originated. Okay, how statistics has originated. From where did it start? Who started? Okay, who is the father of statistics? Who is the father of world statistics? Who is the father of Indian statistics? What is the function of statistics? What is the definition of statistics? Right? What are the branches of statistics? What are the characteristics of statistics? What are the limitations of statistics? What are the scope uh, and applications of statistics? All these things that you are going to study. This is what is the first chapter called Introduction to Statistics. Okay? The second chapter is all about organization of data. Organization of data. Before that, we have to study what are the concepts that we use in this statistics. Some concepts often and often we use for this. We use like population, okay, statistics means always we take it as a population. We use population, there is a word called uh, variable, there is a word called uh, attribute, there is a word called sample, there is a word called sample survey. All these are the things that we will be using it. Okay? These are the terms that we need to study before studying this second chapter, organization of data. In this organization of data, what are we going to learn? We are going to learn how to collect the data. Okay? How to collect the data and what are the data that is available in the field of survey. There are two types of data that is available in the field of survey, primary data, secondary data. How to, how to get the primary data and from where can we get the secondary data. All these things in detail we will be learning it in this chapter called organization of data. Okay? Right. The third thing, third chapter that we are going to study is classification and tabulation students. Classification and tabulation. What, do you, what are you supposed to do in this? Once you collect the data, once you collect the data, how should we classify the data? Okay, how should we classify the data? On what basis classification should be done? Okay, the classification of data is, is, is we are going to learn in this. After classifying the data, how we have to tabulate the data? How we have to represent the data? That is what we are going to learn in this chapter called classification and tabulation students. Okay? Right. The fourth one is what is, is a very simple one that we are going to study is diagrammatic and graphical representations. Diagrammatic and graphical representation of data. I hope it's visible on the board. Okay? Diagrammatic and graphical representation of data. You know, certain people, whenever we represent the data in terms of only numbers, it may not be easy for them to understand. To make them understand, to make them understand in a very clear way, it's always good for us to represent the data in terms of diagrams and graphs. And what are the types of diagrams that we are going to learn? Find and what are the types of graphs and how we have to represent them? Right, is what we will be learning in this chapter called diagrammatic and graphical representation of data. So, okay. Right. The next one, fifth one. The fifth one that you are going to study is all about analysis of univariate data sets. Analysis of univariate. Analysis of this is what is uh, a chapter which is the biggest chapter in this PUC first year syllabus. This is the biggest chapter in PUC first year syllabus students. Okay? Uh, it has been divided into again three subtopics. Uh, one topic is called as measures of central tendency, the other topic is called measures of variation. The other topic is called skewness and photosis. Three subtopics. Number one, measures of central tendency. Number two, measures of variation. Number three, skewness and photosis. These are the three subtopics which are there in this chapter. 
analysis of univariate data. Lengthiest one, students, it has also the maximum marks composition. Very easiest one. Okay, you don't need to worry about it. It's very easiest one. You only have to follow my instructions and then go about. It will be easy for you to score. Okay, as I said, whatever you have studied in the past itself, you are going to study here in a new way. That's it. Okay, so make sure that you understand them correctly. Okay, the next one is analysis of bivariate data sources. Analysis of bivariate data. Now, when is this uh, univariate? Right, univariate. Okay, univariate means data about one variable. That's it. Right, and I have to tell you what is that variable. That's not all these things. I have to explain it to you. One variable, one characteristic data is called as a univariate data. If we have collected the data for two characteristics, then it will be called as bivariate data. So like that, analysis of univariate data after doing an analysis of bivariate data also we have to study. Students. So this is another chapter, a big chapter, right, which is there in your syllabus. And easiest one, students, you don't need to worry about it. Okay. The next one, seventh one, is called as interpolation and extrapolation, students. Interpolation and extrapolation. Okay, extrapolation. Right. This is also one of the good topic, very easiest topic. Right. Uh, a question definitely will be there from this chapter of five marks. And one straightforward question, and that will be there. So if you practice that, you'll be getting full five marks. That's one of the easiest chapter that the any student can learn. Okay. Eighth one is called as association of attributes. Students. Association of attributes. Association of attributes. This is the another chapter that we have. Students. Association of attributes. This also is very simple, very very simple, the most simplest topic in this whole of this first year and uh, one straightforward simple question which will be, uh, you know, if you go, go through all the question papers, same variety of question, only the numbers may change and if you go through that and practice, easily you will be getting 5 marks. So this is another chapter which is called as Association of Attributes. Ninth chapter is called as Probability School. Probability. Probability. This word you might have heard in your 8th standard or 9th standard or 10th standard. So this is a very important concept. Probability is an integral part of statistics. It's an integral part of statistics. What do you mean by integral? It's the main core. Okay? It's the main. If you are not uh, you know, understanding uh, probability or if you are not good in probability, it's, it's, no, it's nothing but you are not to be called as a statistician. That's what they say. But never mind, right? Whatever we are learning, if, or, if ever you don't learn also, don't think anything wrong about this. But probability is one good concept every student should learn. It's just because your reasoning, your thinking capacity will change. You will become very, very, you know, you know, uh, what you can say, your uh, your thinking would be very wise, and you'll you'll solve the problems correctly. You'll know where the solution is. What would be the best solution for that problem is what you will analyze it and think and start doing it. So it's all just about it's all about the mind game. Okay. So probability is one of the best topic any student should learn from statistics. And the last topic, which is called as random variable students. Random variable. Okay? Random variable. These are all the 10 topics. Random variable is, is based on probability principles. It has a continuation or it's an extension of probability channel. So, uh, probability to understand random variable, probability is required. So, probability and random variable go together. Both these chapters are at the end of stories. Now, these are the syllabus, this is, these are the topics that we have for PUC first year syllabus. And this whole PUC first year syllabus, right, and when we prepare a question paper based on this whole 10 chapters, we will be preparing question paper of 156 marks for this. How many marks? 
156 marks question paper it will be completely based on the whole syllabus so this 156 marks you have an option to omit 56 marks okay and uh, easily write 100 and get 100 okay you can uh, you know you can select which are the topics that you can omit which are the topics that you can avoid but still you can score 100 out of 100 students it's nice right it's very nice right it's been made so much uh, friendly to the students you know so much comfortable the, for the students that the student who take up statistics should always think about scoring not to have a fear of passing okay so there are two types of fears let me tell this there are two types of fear a student will come across number one fear of scoring number two fear of passing which is the best which is the best fear of scoring is the best okay fear of scoring is what you know you need to have it every student must have the fear of scoring not the fear of passing fear of passing are those students who will not be coming to the classes regularly those who will not make the notes properly those who will not be attentive in the class those who have so many and so many other issues coming in between those are the people who will be having a problem and those are the people who will have a fear fear of passing so you should not have that fear of passing you should always have the fear of scoring so this is what i introduced this to you students this is a syllabus for you right i am there to help you all right thank you very much we'll meet in the next class